So whenever you buy an iPod on uh, eBay or whatever it is and you want to mod it, there are two different battery shapes and sizes. One's for the thick version, one's for the thin, and they both say 3000 milliamp hours, but the bigger one is only for the thick. And I'm going to show you how to put it in the thin version of the iPod. So opening it up, what I'm doing here is taking out the frame and I'm doing that because the, the thick iPod battery cannot fit inside the thin when the frame is in. So what I did here is I'm putting the components in and that large battery, it actually fits very snug in that frame. And my idea here is to bend, what I'm doing here is bending that cable and uh, putting it in a way where it'll It'll plug in, it, it only plugs in one-sided, so I'm sliding it in, and then I'm, I'm going to plug it in here. But yeah, this battery is actually way bigger than, than the, the other 3000 milliamp hour battery, and, and uh, it lasts a little bit longer too. So yeah, there's the thickness of it, and here I'm using double-sided tape. On Amazon, I'm putting one layer of that on the iFlash quad and then another layer. And um, this time I'm leaving that other layer with the red plastic on, that way it doesn't stick. And so the end result is all the buttons work and they don't uh, indent inside the iPod. So that's important. Once you take out the frame, um, those buttons can um, uh, press down more. So the buttons don't press in and uh, it's just like a normal iPod. And the reason this works is because that thick version iPod battery, it holds everything together along with that double-sided tape and the iFlash quad. So this is my discovery. I, I wanted to share this, so hope this helps.